All right, I'm gonna show you my quick way so I don't have to add a bunch of bridges when I'm making stencils for cookies. So what I do is I have a download that I purchased from Kaleida Cuts that matches the cookie cutter that I bought, and it's for back to school. So I downloaded the PNG. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it to Cricut. I always put complex. That's just what I do, okay? Um, we're gonna go and make it a little smaller because it's quite big. And then, sorry, I had to readjust my phone here. One take. We're going to go to the little magic wand, and we're going to click the white background, and we're going to make it all squares. Um, then we're going to hit the middle parts. We want all that to go away. So at this point, I would, what I used to do is I would upload it, and I would take squares, and I would turn them into rectangles, and make bridges, and it was just a mess. This way is much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and make it like a good size that works for me. And I'm going to go to the little eraser up here. And I'm going to make it like small, small. Like not big, but not small. Just kind of small. Like a little in between. A little medium size, okay? And then anywhere where you are going to add bridges, you're just going to erase. And it's going to be like it wasn't there. So here, bop. Boop. Mm, bada bing <laughs> so usually what would happen is those middle parts would come out and it would kind of like mess with stuff because it would take like the rest of the letter and it just like makes a mess and if you screw up just uh, click the back button and then redo it so if you can't hear I have my cricket going on in the background I am cutting a stencil from cardstock so I can get my samples for back to school done because I'm behind as per usual. <sighs> I swear, I don't even know where. Why do we know what 2021? 20, I think we're in. I don't know what happened to it. I mean, what is even life? But, anyways, I hope this helps. I do a lot of stuff with Cricut, like using their machine, not the company, um, but like with their machine. And if you want any more tips and stuff like this, or you have questions, just go ahead and ask. I hope this was helpful because I hated doing bridges when I first learned how to make stencils. So, all right. Bye.